Hi, my name is John, and today we're going to be learning how to program SCA's Gate 2 DG control panel. To program the control panel, I'm first going to remove the limit switches because I just want to show you the basic programming first of all. Before you start the programming, we recommend that you reinitialize the control panel. You can do this by turning the power off, pressing and holding the up and down buttons, and then reinstating the power. If you keep the buttons held down, after a couple of seconds, you'll see the word in it come up on the screen. And there we go. Now you can take your fingers off the buttons. Now that we've reinitialized the control panel, we can begin the programming sequence. Start by pressing the up button twice, and this will take you to number one, language. Press OK and check that it says English on the screen. Press OK again to return to the main menu. Now press up and go to number two, transmitter. We're going to make a separate video covering how to program key fob transmitters. So for now, continue on to option number three, motor type. Press OK and select the type of motor you are going to use. Today we are going to use mechanic, but you can select different motor types in this option. Continue on to option number four. If you have a single leaf gate, you can go into this option and switch it on. For now, because we have a double leaf gate, we're going to leave this option switched off. Number five from the menu is reverse motor. Leave this in its default off position. Uh, we'll come back to it later if necessary. Number six, logic is the next option on the menu. Press the OK button and you'll see that automatic is selected as default. You can check through different logic selections here and we're gonna make a separate video for this in the future. Continue up to number seven, and this is very important. Pause time, press OK, and you'll see that it says off. With pause time turned off, the gate will not auto-close, even though automatic logic has been selected. To turn on auto-close, press the up button, and you'll see numbers begin to appear on the screen. This is the number of seconds the gate will hold open for before it auto-closes. Today, I'm just going to select two seconds. Number eight is start in pause, and this is often used with traffic barriers, uh, but today we won't be using this feature. Again, pressing OK, it's simply off or on, but I'll leave it off. And finally, number nine, programming. Press the OK button, and you'll see that the screen says off. From now on, you'll be using the up button. Before continuing, make sure that the gate leaves are in the half open position and that any electric locks or magnetic locks have been disabled. The programming sequence is motor 2 close, motor 1 close, motor 1 open, motor 2 open, motor 2 close, and finally motor 1 close. Once activated, each time a gate leaf gets open or close, count 2 and press the up button. We count 2 to add two seconds of overrun to each gate leaf. This lets your gate counter wind resistance when in normal operation. If motor two and motor one open initially, instead of closing, it is better to power down the system, power up, return to option five on the menu and reverse the gate direction. If only one gate is moving in the wrong direction, it is better to power down the system and change the high voltage wiring by swapping the brown and black wires for the affected motor. To switch on programming, go to option nine on the menu, press OK to enter programming mode, and then press the up button to switch on programming. First, motor two will close. When motor two has finished closing, count two and press the up button. Now motor 1 will close. When motor 1 finishes closing, count 2 and press the up button. Now motor 1 will open. When motor 1 is fully open, count 2 and press the up button. Now motor 2 will open.
When motor 2 is fully open, count to 2 and press the up button. Motor 2 will begin to close. When motor 2 is fully closed, count to 2 and press the up button. Finally, motor 1 will start to close. When motor 1 is fully closed, count to 2 and press the up button. This concludes the programming sequence, and the menu will return to saying 9 programming. To give a test start, scroll up to number 10, press OK, and now press up. The test start facility allows you to check if programming is correct and if any changes need to be made. Next week, we're going to be looking at how to add a key fob transmitter to gate system. For more content, don't forget to like and subscribe.